Welcome back to another video. My name is Derek and today we're going to be taking a look at this Apple Watch Ultra. It's not powering on. The owner of the watch believes that it's just a battery that needs to be replaced. Let's open it up, take a look, and see if that's what it needs. Let's get into the video. Opening an Apple Watch Ultra is not the easiest thing in the world. I'm going to show you my techniques on how to do this, so hopefully if you are in need of trying to do this yourself, you'll be able to successfully do it. Let's get started. You're going to want to have a couple things for this. You've got here a very thin, flexible pry tool, a very thin, flexible but rigid piece of plastic, and some isopropyl alcohol. We put some isopropyl alcohol down into the cracks in between the display and the frame. We'll take our little pry tool and wedge it down inside just like that. That gives us enough of a gap to insert the plastic but also give ourselves a little bit of tension on the screen so that we can stick the plastic down in there. And what we're trying to do is get the plastic to go under the frame, under the display, so we can cut around without damaging the display. So I'm going to move the plastic back and forth until I find it slipping under the little bezel that's on the back of the display. And then I can slide the plastic around the corner and up the top here. A little bit more alcohol to act as kind of a lubricant. Stick my pry tool back in there. We'll give it a bit of torque there. And we'll just continue to do the same thing over and over again until we get until we break through. Eventually you'll feel it slip in and then it's just a matter of working it around the edges going back and forth. You'll actually see that the depth of it goes quite in and the only place you really have to be really careful is on this side because there's a flex cable for the display. We're also working with a extremely expensive display. Hundreds of dollars if you make a mistake here so not necessarily the easiest thing to work with. All right, we'll get our pry tool back out so we can get some leverage. Push it down in there, give it a little bit of tension. This will loosen up the ability of the plastic to slide a little bit as we come around the corner and slice down the side. Eventually, you'll feel it kind of release a little bit. So I'm gonna take as my tool again. We'll stick it down inside and we'll lift. And what you should see is a separation of the whole display, frame, glass, everything should come up at the same time. Now I'll get my fingernail under the edge there and we'll continue with the plastic down and around and over here. We just need to make sure that we don't go too deep on this side otherwise we'll clip the flex. So basically we're just going to be as far under the display as we need to be without potentially without potentially causing any damage. Add some more isopropyl alcohol, help with that adhesive to split away. And if we've done it right, we'll open up. One thing I'm gonna to do to make life a little easier is we'll just add a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on the back of the display flex, and we'll gently peel it away just a little bit. This will relieve the tension so that we can take a look at the inside. And my main concern hearing that a newer watch like this isn't charging or holding a charge is water damage. Um, so I wanted to open it up before throwing it on a charger and I don't see any. So let's see what happens on a charger. All right, we've got a charger. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we get any life. We get an Apple logo and then it just shuts off. Push the power button. Do we get anything else? No. Let's try that again. Plug it in. Apple logo. It shuts off. I just want to see if it shuts off immediately. Yeah, it shuts off immediately if I disconnect it from power. Otherwise, it lasts a little longer before shutting off. So let's try a new battery. All right, we're going to get a Y000. It's a tri-wing screwdriver. Let's take out four screws. There's one, two down here. There's a big good gold one right here. And there's one that's kind of hidden down through a little post here. There's a little hole in the top of it that allows us to unscrew it and it comes out with it. Now the battery should just come up and then extend out so that we can access its connector. And I'm just going to take my fingernail and we'll pop that connection and then we can pull out the battery. And let's see if that's all it is. I've got a new battery here. Let's open it up and let's install it real fast. Line up the battery connector and connect it on up. And let's see if 
this battery has any power. It's probably a dead battery, but we'll go ahead and click the power button. And do we get anything? Nope, let's hold it down for a second. Most of the time it won't turn on without activating it with the charger. So let's go ahead and try that and see if it's more than just a battery issue. We got an Apple logo. It's staying on, get brighter. And if I pull away the charger, look at that, it's staying on. And we are on and looks like the display is working. The crown's working. Let's see if it wants to charge. And it does, it wants to charge. So yeah, that's probably all it is. I'm just gonna do a couple more tests on it just to make sure that it's charging properly. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and put that battery back in. I still need to go around and clean up the old adhesive so that we don't have any issues installing new adhesive. We'll grab the big we'll grab the big gold screw and we'll screw it on down. Put in the bottom one here and that one there. And this is kind of the awkward one, but we'll push back through that little hole and line up the screwdriver with the screw. And we'll screw it on down nice and tight there. And I'm gonna go test uh, to make sure it's pulling the right ch charge. One way to quickly determine whether or not the battery is completely dead or not is to try to uh, put power to it with a power supply. So what I've got here, if you see, if, if I touch these together, I short out, causing a huge spike to five amps. And uh, if we go and we touch the positive and negative sides of the battery, what we'll get, if it's a good battery, is a trickle charge and we get complete zeros when we touch the, the positive and negative. It should pull some amps if it's a good battery it'll actually start to charge and it's not so definitely just a battery. And you can see we're charging and depending on the, the state of the watch it's gonna jump anywhere between 0.1 and 0.5 or 0.6 amps. So now it's at 0.2 and then it jumps up to 0.4 and now 0.5. So this is definitely charging properly. All that this needed is a, a battery. To clean up the inside of the frame, what I'm gonna quickly do is I've got here a tool that helps kind of spin off the adhesive. We'll turn it on and it'll literally just pull the adhesive away as it rotates, as you can see. It just whips it right up, making it very easy to clean. And you can even do it on the display itself. You just have to be careful. And you can just pull off all of the old adhesive. Really easy, just like that. All right, so we'll get out some new adhesive. We'll peel away the rigid piece of plastic that kind of keeps it all intact. And then we'll peel away the protector here for one side. And now I'm gonna carefully maneuver this around the display so that it'll come around the flex. And then we can line it up on the inside. All right, we'll peel off the protector and now we can fully install it down inside, just like that. Put it under some pressure, but this watch is all done just like that. And that's how to quickly diagnose and replace a battery on Apple Watch Ultra. If there's a question that you have, leave it in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.